Hello there. We're just getting ready for another surgery here in the Muppet operating room. The patient is asleep and the surgical team is getting ready. That means it's time for the second part of the safe surgery checklist. This part is nurse-led, so I'll be taking you through it. In this second step, the time out will be focusing more on the procedure. It's the last safety check we do before we start the operation. Let's go in and get started. Okay, team, are you ready to do the second step of the safe surgery checklist? Sure thing. Knife, please, Nurse Mayo. Hold on, Dr. Scalpel. We have to do the checklist before we make the incision. Oh, okay. Okay. It's the first case of the day, so let's start with the introduction. From the head of the bed, please say your name and role. Dr. Fentanyl, anesthesia. Dr. Scalpel, surgery. Thumbs, surgery resident. Alex, medical student. Nurse Mayo, scrub nurse. Nurse Alice, circulating nurse. And I'm Nurse Babcock, senior nurse. Next, we have to confirm the patient's name, procedure, and the side of the surgery. The patient is Susie Sidebottom, and she's having a right hemicolectomy. Do we all agree? Yes. yes. Okay, let's review the surgery. Dr. Scalpel, do you have any special concerns? Any critical or unexpected steps? Nope, I don't think so. It should be routine. How long do you think it will take us? Maybe two hours, I guess. And do you expect more than 500 cc's of blood loss? Not unless I let Thumbs do the surgery. Sorry, just my little joke. No, I don't expect a lot of bleeding, and we shouldn't need any blood. Thank you, doctor. Now, Dr. Fentanyl, do you have any concerns? No, no, I think she should be fine. And you're happy with your IV access and fluids? Yes, I have two big lines in. No concerns. Okay, now nursing. Nurse Mayo, do you have any sterility issues? Nope, all my instruments are good. And you have all the equipment you need? Yes, it's a standard major GI set. We have a book walter in the room if we need it. Excellent. Okay, we're almost ready to cut. Great. Just a couple more items. Is there any essential imaging we need? Do we need any x-rays, Dr. Scalpel? Nope. We looked at the CT scan in the lounge. We shouldn't need it again. Okay, now medications. Did the patient get her antibiotics? Yes, two grams of Ansef and five hundred of Flagyl given at induction. How about thromboprophylaxis? She's written up for heparin post-op and she has her pneumatic compression stockings on. Great. Any other concerns with meds? No. Okay. Anyone have any other concerns at all? Or are we good to go? Sure thing. Okay. Let's get started. Night, please, Nurse Mayo. Okay. Well, let them get on with the job and I'll come back to do the final part of the checklist at the end of the surgery. Okay, the main part of the surgery is over. The team has started closing up. It's time for the last part of the checklist. Oh, hi, Nurse Babcock. You missed all the fun. The surgery is over. It went very well. That's great, Dr. Scalpel. I arrived just in time to catch you for the last part of the checklist. Oh, I was just about to step out. I'm sorry. We need you just another minute. You have to be here for this part of the checklist, too. Oh, okay. Okay, team. Before the patient leaves the OR, let's do the debrief. What operation did we do? A right hemicolectomy. Nurse Mayo, are the counts good? Yes. It's all good. Sponges are good and all needles and instruments are accounted for. The final skin count is good. Any equipment issues? Nope. Everything worked fine and we didn't open the book walker. Great. We can use that for the next case then. Nurse Alice, 
Was there any specimen? Yes, one specimen, right colon. Diagnosis, Crohn's disease. Excellent. Dr. Fentanyl, are you happy with the patient disposition? We oui, we have a bed in recovery, number 14. Any issues with analgesia or oxygen? I have oxygen for transfer and we're good for analgesia. PCA orders are done. Okay, any specific concerns before we get ready for transfer? Nope. Excellent work. What a great team we have.